My name is Stephen Kinsler and I'm an economist at the University of Limerick. Specifically, I study the Irish economy. Now, what's really, really interesting about the Irish economy at the moment is its collapse. There have been three major reports on the Irish economy as to why it went so wrong. All three have identified specifically the failure of macroeconomic models to make a difference, to actually show us where we went wrong. That's what we're doing at the University of Limerick right now. So last year, with colleagues, I won a grant to build a new macroeconomic model for Ireland. This is brand new stuff that's not being done anywhere else in Ireland. You can only do it at the University of Limerick. The basic idea of the model is that we model the entire Irish economy in terms of its finances, but also the real side. The overarching goal of this project is to estimate what's called a stock flow consistent model. It's a really, really complicated task. It's going to take three PhD economists two years to build this thing. But it's really, really exciting, actually. Um, we've, we started in January, in January the 9th. We've already built the first model, and it's amazing. When you run the model backwards, if you pretend the model existed in 2006, you can see the unsustainable buildup of credit in this model. Whereas the other model, the one that was run before, the one that the government runs right now, actually, that didn't pick it up. That, that model was telling us everything is fine, everything is fine, everything is fine. This model already in its primitive beta form is telling us something's going wrong, something's going wrong, something's going wrong. Now there's lots and lots of things that we need to fix with this model. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, it's very much a stripped down uh, beta version. But already it's showing signs that we can actually do something um, really, really innovative that really you can't find anywhere else. Uh, I, I'm very excited about it. But it, again, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. Um, one of the challenges we need to, to address right now is the challenge of estimation. We have a very large number of equations. We have a very complicated story to tell. But we have a very simple pattern because we know what happened to the Irish economy. It went like that and then like that. So we need to fit that pattern correctly. Estimating something using pretty complicated uh, um, statistical and econometric tools Estimating that kind of a change is actually quite difficult. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how to do it right now. Um, but that's why it's going to take us 18 months to do it. And this is the best thing about research. We're at the co-face of what we're trying to do here. Nobody else knows how to do it either. So when we solve this problem, and I'm fully confident we will, we'll have done something that no one else has done before. And we'll be able to share that with other people. There are other people all over the world who wants to know how to estimate these types of models. And when we figure that out, we'll be able to give it to them. We're not going to sell it to them. We're just going to give it to them. And that'll help them make better models as well. Maybe they'll improve on our model. That's how research works. You come up with something new, you hand it away to other people, and they move on with your work. So that's really the exciting part of what I'm involved in right now. My goal for this research is not to produce a model that will predict the Irish economy for the next 50 years. Uh, my goal for this model is not to, pr not to produce an overarching um, Borgesian map where you can just see everything. Basically I want a weather model. I want to be able to say quarter by quarter as new data comes in from the Irish economy I want to be able to say guys I think we have too little credit in that sector or guys I think we've got too much credit in that sector, or there seems to be a dip in real economic activity uh, in construction, or I think that households are saving too much, we might want to alter interest rate policies, uh, we might want to change the uh, credit behaviour of the banks. We're interested in debt sustainability. Now, debt sustainability is the idea that at some point you're going to be able to work your way out of your debt. If you can do it, then great. If you can't, oh dear. So think about it in terms of a household. If the household can actually pay its way out of its debt by reducing its expenditure, increasing its income a little bit, then great. If the Irish economy is like that, happy days. If it's not, then we have to look at the specific categories of debt. Um, so for example, we have the state savings schemes, prize bonds and things like that, about 12 billion euros. Can the state default on that? Are you going to default on your granny's prize bonds? Probably not. Um, we have nearly 90 billion euros of government bonds. This is debt that the Irish Minister for Finance actually issues on your behalf. So are you going to default on that? Well, if you do, there are huge consequences that can last 
upwards of 25 years. People won't lend to you, and if they do lend to you, it's going to be at a much, much higher rate. So this is really worrying. This is really worrying. There are huge consequences to not paying back debt. Um, there are also huge consequences to paying back debt. So for example, our government expenditure is going to have to drop. That's spending on schools, on hospitals, on roads, on economic sectors. You know, that's going to have to drop. Our taxes are going to have to increase. And so people aren't going to see an increase in their material standard of living while we pay back all this debt. So the level of the standard of, of state services that people get in Ireland right now probably is going to be the same as the state services they'll get in 2020 or maybe 2025. That's hugely significant and I don't think that the public realise that. One of the reasons that they don't realise that is because nobody's had a model to show them what this looks like. No one's had a model to show them. And this is incredibly important. And I can't stress this enough. If you can't model the sustainability of your debt properly, if you don't have a coherent story that looks at the real side of the economy, the financial side of the economy, the international aspects of the economy, then you're in really, really deep trouble. Unfortunately, that's more or less where we are now. We have a series of very small, discrete models. So we look at the debt part, we look at the real part, we look at the financial part. We don't ever look at the entire thing, the corpus of the Irish economy. And if this model works, and if this project works that we're developing at the University of Limerick, then we will be able to look at that. That'll be a genuine contribution. It's also really exciting. It's really, really exciting. Because I have no idea how it's going to work out. And um, that's what gets me up out of bed in the morning. So if you'd like to learn more, please um, give me an email or look me up at ul.ie.